Before temporarily assuming the role of Agriculture Secretary, President Bongbong Marcos was forewarned by the DA chief of the many problems that the sector is facing. With an immediate concern to lower prices of rice, the chief executive quickly instructed the department to come up with a master plan on how to best transport produce from farms to their respective markets. Clazel Padilla has more. Teen was not able to buy a sack of rice today. Usually, nakakaisang sako po kami. Ngayon po kasi ano eh, 5 kilos na lang kinakaya ng budget. Apat yung anak kong estudyante, kaya sa hanggang kailangan ko magtipin. At the kumuning market, a sack of rice has increased 50 to 140 pesos. Some rice retailers explained, Talaga ang tumasa ho, kukuha namin eh. Kasi ano nga nagtatanim pa? Katulad ko nito, kristal na ito. Kukuha ko lahat ng kagabi. Meanwhile, the price of an egg, which is a cheap source of protein, also spiked 50 centavos to 1 peso a piece. The smallest sized egg is sold for 6 pesos and 75 centavos each, while the largest size of egg ballooned to as high as 9 pesos a piece. That's why Len bought. Maliit lang. Bakit po? Pantama lang. According to some egg retailers, it has become increasingly hard to get an affordable price of egg. Wala silang deliver ngayon. Nag-close yung ibang farm, tapos mataas ang gasolina. Bird flu yung isang dahilan ng pagtaas. To ensure food security and reduce the price of agricultural products, President and Agriculture Secretary Bongbong Marcus Jr. has instructed the Agriculture Department to create a farm-to-market road master plan. BBBM says farm-to-market roads plan should be climate change resistant and detailed, prioritizing food-producing areas and identifying the areas that still need to open. The Samahang Industria na Agricultura says BBBM has a good long-term plan. Okay, na talaga na ayusin yung farm to market yun na para at least closer yung mga produkto hindi masyado mataas ang handling. Ibaba! Presyo ng bigas! But Bantay Bigas insists farm to market roads will not resolve problems that need immediate solutions. They appeal, give the farmers 20,000 pesos worth of fertilizers and fuel subsidy, declare the state of calamity and price cap on farm inputs and agricultural products. Ang kailangan na ng mamamayang Pilipino ay isasaing. Hindi may sasaing ang simento. Dapat ang gobyerno maglagay talaga ng price cap dahil hirap na hirap ang ating mga mamamayang Pilipino. To reduce production cost of produce, the Department of Agriculture said BBBM has ordered them to explore government-to-government -government or G2G negotiations to subsidize farmers' fertilizers. They are also directed to focus on food mobilization and the use of food terminals. But some agricultural groups fear the purchase of fertilizer under G2G may take another two months. Should fertilizer support come late, palay production will decline and the price of rice will increase. Meanwhile, to increase supply and temper poultry products like eggs, the United Broiler Racers Association proposed to restrict importing chicken products. Importation, yun naman ang nagpa-atras sa local production eh, yung over-importation eh. Kalei Zalpardilia for the Nation.